Alright, welcome back everybody to the fifth episode of Collector's Link News, uh, where we have um, basically just a compilation of new or new Thailand variants of cars from uh, this German, I believe it's German, this German website called Mian Spielberg, or uh, something along the lines of that, and they have basically been the main contender giving out all the new um, images. Uh, over the past few days, and they were the first ones to put out the image of Dan Ruffalo, the, um, or, uh, Dale, I don't want to say, I always call him Dan, I want to say it's Dale, um, they were the first ones to put his image out about, um, a, uh, whenever I made the last video was, like, the same day. Uh, all these cars in the back here are the, of course, the Hot Wheels, Matchbox and a few Tomica stuff over here, uh, cars over there, um, that I got for Christmas. I will, of course, do a review on all of them. Um, I, I'd like to do it tomorrow, but, I mean, I'm not, I'm really bad at, um, getting videos out on time. So, I'll try, but Wednesday is my birthday, so I'll try to have, uh, oh, that will obviously be a day off. Then I'll come back and show or I'll showcase everything I got for there. Um, it's definitely a little bit harder to making these videos nowadays because of COPPA, of course. Uh, my last two videos got um, set for kids. They did get set back, but it took about two days, and um, my comments were disabled for like an extra one day after that, which is just I don't know what YouTube is doing. It's stupid as hell. Um, whatever they're trying to do, I know that, the uh, obviously COPPA is, or the, uh, FTC is pretty much doing a good thing, um, by protecting it, but I do think that YouTube especially is going a little far with some of the rules that they have implemented on the website. Um, but without first, we have, um, we don't have too much, but it'll definitely be enough, uh, to, it'll be, it'll be worthwhile. So first we have... Um, a, this is not a new car, this is, uh, the, what's it called, um, brand new Mater, um, that is a new Thailand variant, I believe, I'm not sure if he's been released from Thailand yet, I'm not exactly master of all that, and of course you have the packaged image of him, looking pretty cool. Realize that I haven't checked the old Dale Ruffalo uh, link. I might see if he has a packaged image yet. I'm confident he probably won't. Next is another um, re release, except this one is sort of new ish. This is Silver Miguel Camino. Um, and he has been released before. I believe it was in the Silver series. Um, uh, but I believe the wheels were not orange. Or yellowish. I might actually have the silver one. Let me go look just for a second. Um, I know that they're kind of at the top of my shelf because they're not exactly the most interesting cars. Uh, no, I don't have the silver version. I have the silver Max and the silver Nigel. And of course, with that, here comes the packaged image. Another car to add to the silver series. Save those for last. There's some actual new cars. Put that right there. Alright. Here's our first generally new car. This is Chris Revstopsky. Of course, we've seen Chris Revstopsky before with a checkered flag and one with a green flag. Of course, the one with a checkered flag is insanely inaccurate. Um, the one with the green flag, um, is correct, but this one has a white flag, like France, um, and we will, um, uh, see if we do eventually get the checkered flag version. Obviously, um, we haven't gotten a white flag version yet, but hopefully we will get a checkered flag version to go along with these next two versions, kind of like next to Next up, we have another new silver car. 
the first silver next gen, well actually that's not true, Jackson Storm, but the first silver next gen, this was, well, yeah, okay, you understand. Um, silver Tim Treadless, of course, from me and Spielberg. Um, again, I did, these aren't the highest quality images, since I couldn't find the links, the my mine Spielberg links, um, um, I just by plain searching, I had to get the images from Tapatalk, and Tapatalk is not very good, uh, with, Im like, I don't know the, what their, what their damn problem is with, um, not being able to, with the image problems, like, if instead, if you click the arrow, it'll go, like, by, go pass by one, go to the one after that, it's, um, very confusing, and sometimes they just decide not even to load. So next we have two more new releases. One of them we knew about, and one of them we didn't. Hopefully, this is not what I think it might be. So first we have Silver the King, who surprisingly hasn't been released before. I'm surprised that there's only there, there's a low amount of silver cars um, besides the WGP racers. He looks great. And then next, I just realized, like, uh, as I was recording this, um, this right here is Lightning McQueen with, um, Missing Mud. This is what happened after the Thunder Hollow incident where, of course, he got all his mud washed off. This is the aftermath of that. Um, and notice how we haven't seen a Cupcake Lightning McQueen image yet, even though he's in these upcoming cases. And we haven't seen anything for a, like, muddy, washed-off Lightning McQueen. Um, so, unfortunately, there's a possibility that that card will, repla will replace, or it was not intended to be there in the first place, and might, that might be what we get instead of Cupcake Lightning McQueen. But next we do have some more good news involving the Thunder Hollow cars. This is the final uh, new Thunder Hollow racer we will be getting. Of course, it is Fair Game. Um, he was scheduled to be released in 2017 in the Cars 3 line in a 3-pack, but of course it did get cancelled, unfortunately. Um, I believe he was supposed to be with one of the bigger guys, I think it was RV or Dr. Damage, one of those two. Um, but he did end up getting cancelled later on. And of course, here is the packaged image. And in this image, he is looking very good, that artwork up there. Looks very, very nice. And of course, some of the newer, um, prototype images, so you know, note, um, Silver Tim Treadless. This next car that's coming up, uh, Dan Ruffalo, uh, what's another one? Oh, the, uh, Mighty Lightning McQueen. Um, they all, instead of looking like an actual prototype image, um, so an actual prototype image would be something like this, this right here. That's an actual prototype image right there. And the only reason that he is the one that has a, an actual prototype image, um, instead of the other ones is because... Uh, they did actually have that image back from 2017, um, although it was not as, like, readily used. Now, a lot of the recent runs we're seeing from me and Spielberg are like this. Um, you can definitely tell that that one looks more computer-generated, uh, instead of, like, an actual image. It almost looks like there's not enough color, not enough, like, uh, shading, no, that's the... It's an odd thing. You'll definitely see it with this next one. It just doesn't look real enough. And last, but of course, first on this list, always save the best for last, is another new next gen. That one being Jonas Carver's, the next gen no star racer. We have seen him from Tomica before, but um, this is his first Mattel release. Um, next gen Reven Go should be in either the next or the case after that. Um, it just says Next Gen Rev, but you, of course, you can assume. And then after that, we just have Carbon Cyber, uh, which is Jim Reverick, Vinyl Toupee, and, um, Spearmint, which those are actually 
I like I don't like how they're saving all the cool ones for last. Like Noah Gokek, Jonas Carvers, Carvers, um, the Revenue Racer, Mario Toupe, Experiment, um, even I dare may I say, um, Reverick are some of the cooler ones when it comes to next gens. Now of course we have a packaged image of Jonas Carvers and the artwork is yet again on the point. Um, Mattel is awfully good at creating new, um, artwork, but unfortunately we can't seem to get it going when it comes to making, um, re-releases, like, um, mention the, uh, Nazar Gears of the Flames, with Flames, excuse me, um, they did originally have, uh, a actual image card art for him where he did have the Flames, Back in 2014, when he was released, uh, but with a new re-release of him from Thailand, it does not have anything. Um, it's just a normal Magic Easy artwork. Uh, same thing with the Silver Racers, um, and it's also the same thing with Sterling with Headset. Though we haven't actually seen an actual Sterling with Headset prototype image, we do know that Mattel definitely could have been capable of it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode of Collector's Link News. I'll see you all next, next time. Goodbye.